Hi, my name is Paolo Alonso and I'm presenting our work Efficient Supervised Training of Audio Transformer for Music Representation Learning. I'll start by introducing the main aspects covered in our paper. Since our interest is in the representations and not in the metrics obtained on the training task, we focus on the performance obtained on several downstream tasks. Our models rely on audio representation as input, so there is no supplementary information such as text or music metadata. Additionally, we rely on convolution-free transformers, and the proposed experiments are intended to understand which conditions optimize the downstream performance when using this architecture. Finally, we use supervised objective in the form of class labels since previous works show that this approach is, for now, more effective than self-supervised methods. Our training setup is the same as in the past paper. An audio spectrogram is augmented and divided into patches, passed through linear layers, and combined with positional encodings. We randomly discard complete columns and rows of input patches, a technique known as a structured patch out. The remaining patches plus a class and distillation tokens are passed through 12 transformer blocks. Finally, the average of the class and distillation tokens are passed through a linear layer that predicts 400 music style labels from Discogs 20, an in-house dataset of 3.3 million tracks annotated with Discogs metadata. In the downstream validation, we use the frozen transformer as a feature extractor and train an MLP classifier in the downstream task. In our experiments, we consider extracting different tokens from different blocks of the transformer and applying patch out at inference time. Now we will discuss our experiments and results. In particular, we evaluate the effect of extracting different embeddings from the transformer, the impact of the initial weights, the effect of the input sequence length, the performance in benchmark downstream tasks, and the effect of the inference patch out on the downstream throughput. In the first experiment, we measure the downstream performance obtained in the Magnetagatune dataset by different features extracted from the transformer. We consider the classification token, the distillation token, the average of the rest of tokens, and stacks of these features, extracted from different blocks and layers of the transformer. We find that the stack of features CDA tends to perform better, and that the optimal block is around the middle of the transformer. In the second experiment, we consider starting our training from random weights, from the weights of DEED, which is an image recognition model, and from the past weights, a model trained on audio set for audio classification. We find that starting the training from the past pre-trained weights produces the best performance in the downstream task. In the third experiment, we modify the input sequence length from 5 up to 30 seconds. We find that the results consistently increase in the downstream task. This contrasts with previous studies using CNNs where the performance tend to saturate at around 4 seconds. Then we evaluate our model in the MTG Jamendo dataset, the Magnetagatune, and the Millionson dataset. We compare with CNN baseline trained in the same dataset, other state of the art music representation models, and models fully trained in the downstream task. We find that our models are the best performing public solution, and only surprised in certain cases by closed models. In our last experiment, we assess the uses of patch out at inference time. We find that it's possible to reach scenarios where the throughput is higher than the fully convolutional baseline while keeping higher performance. Finally, these are our main takeaways from this work. Patch out is a powerful technique that allows for efficient training and inference with transformer-based music representation models. To take advantage of transformer for music representation learning, it should be taken into account that they depend heavily on the pre-training weights. They benefit from longer input sequences and that the best representations tend to be extracted from the middle layers of the transformer. Finally, we present MAST, a music audio efficient spectrogram transformer that is publicly available. If you are interested in this project, follow the QR to get access to the full paper, code, and inference endpoints, both from the essential library and hugging phase. Thank you very much for your time.